In this video lesson, we will learn about the minima and the maxima of quadratic functions. Now, minima and maxima are the words, the plural forms of the words minimum and maximum. Each quadratic function can have exactly one minimum or maximum. And there are two cases. Either we have a parabola that opens up or one that opens down. In the first case, there's a minimum, and the second, a maximum. Now we're going to explore this in a little bit more detail. Let's say we have the function y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 2. Here is its graph. This is going to be the maximum, the point that I'm marking. And because it is, it's, it's a maximum because the parabola opens down. This means that the parabola goes up, and then at this maximum, it curves back down. Now this maximum, the point 1, 1, also happens to be the vertex of the parabola. And this is always the case, that the vertex of the parabola is either a maximum or a minimum, which one depends on which way the parabola opens. Now I'm just showing, see, look, this point is the top. If you go any higher, there are no points on this parabola. This point is the highest point. That's why it's called the maximum. So now we're going to take a look at a similar situation, but instead of maximum, there will be a minimum. Let's take the function y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. This function opens up. So it goes down, and then at, there's the minimum, and then it swoops back up. And there it is. And because it opens up, its vertex is a minimum. It's the lowest point on the parabola. And this point is 3, comma, negative 4. So really all you have to remember is that the vertex is either a minimum or a maximum, which one depends on if the parabola opens up or if it opens down. And there it is, that's the lowest point on the parabola. Nothing is below it. So now we're going to do a word problem related to these minimum, minima and maxima. More specifically, I'm going to open this word problem up in just a second. Here it is. The number of mosquitoes MX in millions in a certain area depends on the June rainfall X in inches. If mx equals 4x minus x squared, then what rainfall in the month of June produces the greatest number of mosquitoes? So here's this formula. Let's write it down. mx equals 4x minus x squared. And what are you looking for? We're looking for what rainfall, what x, gives the greatest number of mosquitoes. And this is the greatest y. So we're looking for the value of x which gives the greatest value of y after we plug in. Really we're going to just find both of these. But it's important to remember that sometimes you're being asked for the y value and sometimes for the x. So again, I highlight, we're asked for what rainfall in the month of June produces the greatest number of mosquitoes. What number of mosquitoes happens to be there is not required for the answer, just the value of x. So we know that this maximum is going to be at the vertex. And again, it's a maximum because since we have negative x squared, then this parabola opens down. and the formula for the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. And so we have to rewrite the formula for the parabola in standard form. Negative 1 times x squared plus 4x plus 0. 
So a equals negative 1, b equals 4, and c equals 0. In this case, we don't need c because we're just calculating the vertex. So we plug into our formula, we get negative b, which is 4, negative 4, over 2 times a, which is negative 1. This simplifies to negative 4 over negative 2, which is just equal to 2. So we know that the x-coordinate of the vertex is 2. And remember, since the x-coordinates are rainfall in the month of June in inches, we write 2 inches. That's technically all we need for the answer. We just wondered how many inches will give the maximum. But let's say we're curious and we, and we want to know how many millions of mosquito will exist at this maximum. To do that, we will just have to plug into our formula. And our formula is y or m of x equals 4x minus x squared. To find the y coordinate of the vertex, we just plug in the x coordinate of the vertex. So I get 4 times 2 minus 2 squared, which equals 2. 8 minus 4 equals 4. And remember, this is in millions. So we have the maximum number of mosquitoes happen when we have 2 inches of rainfall in the month of June, which is the answer to our question. And in this scenario, there will be 4 millions of mosquitoes. This is that maximum. I hope you found this video lecture helpful. Thank you for watching.